People can't get certain credit loans because they got misdemeanors. Misdemeanors. They ain't even a felony. That's a probation. That's what I'm talking about. I don't care about him being innocent. I don't care about him being guilty. I don't got nothing to do with me. He's fighting charges and running for the highest office to represent the country you live in. What does that say about the country you live in? Big risk for the market and the economy from the most to least concerning. Continued high inflation. We are now, range, we are at 5%, bro. The Fed cutting too late or too little, meaning they let it run too long. Global economic weakness. These wars ain't good for nobody. Supplies disruptions because of the wars. And the Fed cutting too early, too much. All of these things are pivotal for us as an economy. I'm not gonna lie, Jose. We are in a we are in a we are in a spot we haven't been in in a while. As an economy. Um with an election brewing, and I'll be honest with you, Joe Biden is not, Joe Biden is the, this, I read this the other day, Joe Biden is the, he's about to go down like Nixon as far as not what he's done, but likability. Like, I've read a report that said like, like his likability is like 30 something percent. Now, here's my thing about that, Jose. I'll keep it 100% real true. It's not that I'm voting for Donald Trump. It's not that I like Donald Trump. Here's my thing about Donald Trump. How can you be fighting charges and still run for president? That is just blowing my brain. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. Like, I don't even care about if he's good for business. I don't even care about, like, who he's for. I don't care about he's a... I'm just saying... As a person fighting federal charges, how can you be running for the most, what's the word I'm looking for here? Esteemed position. Like, how can you still run for the most, for the highest position on this continent? I don't care if they fake charges or real charges. They charges. My nigga, I can't even get certain stuff because I got a attempt murder on robbery, bro. Bro, that thing is 1999. They be like, ah, mm, I'm good. My dog on a my dog went to jail for like burglary. Bro, like, you nah, bro, you can't get, you gotta get a cosign. What? It's a shoplifting. <laughs> you feel me? Yo, my dude fighting bribery charges. <laughs> Bro fighting all kind of charges. I'm just saying, like, what does that say about this country, bro? It's not even... It could have been Joe Biden fighting them charges. I would say the same thing right now, bro. Like, how can you run for the most esteemed, there's nothing in this world, in America, like saying, I'm the president. We know everybody got their own thing, like the prime ministers and the, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, America, and think about it, America is still the newest of them all. America's only 240 some years old. Right? How can, bro, like, Brother Tim wrote on robbery still, they don't let that go. They like, hey, what this was? Explain this to me. I'm like, brother, it was 1999. Yeah, but explain it to me. Explain it to me, dog. Tell me what happened. I'm just saying, bro, like, how? Like, and what we looking at right now? He's gonna be fighting charges. <laughs> Why he in the White House? My dog gonna pardon itself, cuz. <laughs> Bruh, make me understand that. 
I don't understand that. And in my mind, I'm saying that's the best the Republicans can come up with. That's the best they can come up with is Donald Trump, dog. And here's my thing. If he wins the election, bro, I ain't even mad at him, dog. If he win the election, I'm not even mad at him. You know why? Because he go against everything America say they stand for, but underlining everything that America is. Ooh, Jose. 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 He wins the election. He represents that every, he represents everything that America says that they're against. But he's also everything that America stands for. Real talk. And I'm talking about on every level. From on, on every level. Every level. Don't skip none of them. I don't care about you being innocent to proven guilty. I'm saying as a president, you shouldn't have charges on you. That's what I'm saying, bro. That, that's what I'm, you missed the whole point of you thinking that. As a president of the United States, why do you think they make them cut the hell out of their face? You gotta have a clean look. A president has to be married. A president cannot have no hand in their face. This is because you gotta be clean. You, got, you can't have no hair in your face. You got to be married to be a president because you got to be clean. You have to have the look of I'm, I can represent this. If you have charges against you, you ain't clean. Yet alone have pending charges against you. Now, once he get the charges clear from him or whatever, go run for president. But as the country you live in, you cannot have a person fighting federal charges representing your country, man. That's what I'm saying. I don't care about the charges being proven innocent and proven guilty. I don't care about none of that. Wait till the charter's over. Run again after the charter's over. You, you running with charges on you. What does that say about America? That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't care about him after the charge is gone. Man, go run for president again, bruh. I ain't tripping on that. I'm just saying because there's so many, and the reason why I'm saying it because there's so many people who get caught up. Bro, big got people can't even go places to live because they got a background. I couldn't even get a high rise because I had a background. Certain bank st stuff I couldn't do with the bank because of my background. Bro, I just try, I'm trying to buy a piece of commercial real estate. Them people made me write a full paint. I had to get Lashana to write a thing three different times. A letter of explanation from 1999. I had to write it three times. Three times. I said, a LOE? What the hell is a LOE? A letter of explanation. What I need a letter of explanation for? You got to explain us what you went to prison for in 1999. What? That was 99. It don't matter. You won $3.5 million. Explain it to us. What are we talking about here? People can't get certain credit loans because they got misdemeanors. Misdemeanors. They ain't even a felony. That's a probation. That's what I'm talking about. I don't care about him being innocent. I don't care about him being guilty. I don't got nothing to do with me. He's fighting charges and running for the highest office to represent the country you live in. What does that say about the country you live in? That's what I'm saying. I don't care about him being innocent or guilty. I don't care about that. That's what I'm saying. I couldn't live in certain communities. I'm going to keep it all the way real. At a certain point in my life, I had to get people to get on the lease for me. At certain points of my life, I had to say, bro, I don't want, I won't live right here, bro. Man, go put the, go put the crib in your name, dog. Go put the crib in your name, though. I'm going to pay the bills, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and I'm going to kick you out. Because I had an attempt murder on robbery. 
We ain't talking about no innocent. I don't care. He, you're fighting charges and running for the biggest office in, that represents your country. What does that say about the country we live in? That's all I'm saying. I don't care about, I don't care what he do. He a man. Ain't none of us perfect. But there has to be a guideline on what you can represent, on what you can do. There has to be some type of clarity on that. There has to be something that, okay, in order to run for office, Donald Trump, look, you got to go beat all them charges. You can't get a probation. You, you got to go beat them charges, and then, then you come back and run for office, bro. Man, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, especially when I know there's people can't get jobs because of service. They got people that's overqualified with jobs because they got a, a but they got people that could be running a bank that's smarter than the person running a bank but they can't get the bank job because they did something crazy. And I'm going to tell you what the real estate people told me. If you'd have had a, if you'd have had a, um, an extortion charge, or if you'd have had some type of fraud charge, we wouldn't even give you, we even consider you for the loan. If you had any type of fraud charge, credit charge, bank robbery charge, we wouldn't even consider you for the loan. So just explain to us what you went to, just explain it to us. You good, we just need to see it on paper. I said, what? It's from 99. It don't matter. You asked us for 3.5 million. But we can run for office with 34 counts of criminal. We can run for office for, at that point, anybody should get been run for office then. I should be able to get all the pistols I want, no matter what I went to prison for. That's what I'm saying. We don't care about guilty or not guilty. We saying, bro, we know some smart people that could be doing some amazing things, but because they got a criminal record, they can't do it. Nah, that can say one or two things. It can say that Trump is just that guy. Or it can tell us what we really know. The system been rigged. And that's why I say even a rigged game is fun to play. Shout out to Samuel L. Jackson. Because once you understand that the system is rigged, you start saying hell with the rules. Let me just see how the people who plan the game play the game. And I'm going to play by their rules, not the rules in the rule book. And that's what I be wanting us to understand about the market. You got to be obsessed with the process of learning the market. Don't worry about the people who be saying the market going to crash. The market going to do this. Man, shut up. I'm going to play the game how I suppose. I want to see how the people who are winning at the game playing the game. And I can guarantee you they ain't playing by the rules because if they were playing by the rules, Bill Ackman would have never got on TV saying, the market going to fall, the market going to fall, the market going to fall, the market crashed, he turned 200 million to 2.6 billion. He ain't playing by the rules. He made up the rules as he go. We know how to game. We know this. We understand this. If you were playing by the rules, the, go look at who Billions was created behind. Go, fit, go, go, go say, who was Bobby Axelrod created behind? And it's going to show you a certain owner of an MLB team. And he's going to say when the Twin Towers fell, he went bet against the market and got majority of his money. Go look that up. The game ain't fair. The game ain't ever been fair. But you're going to cry about the game, you're going to cry about the rules, or you're going to learn how the people who play in the game, you're going to see what rules they play by. I said, ooh, okay. I love Terrica. Terrica told me something, bro. She said, Trap, let me tell you something. You get this commercial building, the banking industry going to look at you different. She said, don't get discouraged. Man, I love her. She said, don't get discouraged about nothing. Because right now you look good on paper. All your assets match. All your taxes good. Your business is ran well. You look good on paper. And to me, she said, to me, that's more important than anything. She said, I'm going to tell you, once you get this commercial building, 
is going to change how the bankers look at you. And this is what blew my mind. She said, when the bankers look at you different, the world don't got no choice but to look at you different. I said, ooh, Terrica. I said, you say I'm skipping four, I'm skipping four green houses going straight to the Red Hotel? She said, exactly. She said, because as long as you buy residential real estate, they still look at you as a consumer. Say, but once you start buying apartment complexes, you're going into a commercial. Once you start buying buildings, you're going into a commercial. And once you start buying commercial, you change how the bankers look at you. I said, oh, I just found a new game I won't play. <laughs>